subconscious. Yes, family, I'm back again. I told you, you gonna believe one day. Either get on the train or get railroaded. Simple as that, family. This drummer boy, 1980. Hope you had a good day. If not, you know the old adage. Ask yourself why. Moving right along. I got some good news for you guys. I have crossed the 1,000 subscriber mark. I appreciate y'all guys. I put out good content and y'all respond. And I'm forever grateful. Forever indebted to you guys. Because they always say the first 1,000 is the hardest. So I got the hard part out of the way. Now I'm going to just continue to grow. And hopefully we can grow together. But move right along. This is part two. Let's jump right off into it. Can I add one something to her submissive topic? I loved exactly what she said, but a lot of people have like bad stigmas on being submissive to a man, but what they don't realize, like you get more when you're submissive to a man. Like when you're submissive to like, like the past relationships, when you're submissive, you actually get more. It's, and that's why I don't believe being submissive has to do with control or anything of that nature. And the same thing in the listen, same thing when she brought up the whole bedroom Fifty Shades of Grey. When you're submissive in that aspect, you're getting pleased more. So I know that because I'm into BDSM. So it's the same thing. Like that's why. It's the button, oh, right. it's the button. Huh? It's the button, Kayla, I don't like how you pop back on the screen. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I heard, oh, I heard. Oh, she came in BDSM. I just never mind. Go. No, I'm gonna go. Um, no, I like right. You know, for the people that don't know what it is, uh, I'm breaking it down. What is that? They can Google. Talk to them. <laughs> yeah, let them find out. This, on this, this ain't the show J for that. Jr., we might have to do another. Uh, Look at you. We'll figure it out. We're gonna finesse that up. We're gonna put that together. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're still on the top. Mm, I see you, Q. I second that. Touche. Touche. <laughs> yes. You can't catch more flies with honey than you can fecal them out. Ladies, let me talk to you for a minute. You can't bludgeon the man into doing what you want him to do. You have to use your feminine powers. Ask yourself, what is your feminine power? Femininity, submission. That's where your power lies at. That's dynamite. I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. Take it from me. You heard me. Nah, Q, I heard you say something about BDSM. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, that stands for bondage, domination, or discipline, depending on who you talk to, sadism, and masochism. And a lot of y'all probably don't know what none of that means, but the first two. Sadism is whenever a person derives pleasure out of seeing others humiliated or inflicting pain upon them. It's twisted. Old freaky dicky stuff. Masochism is whenever you derive pleasure from somebody else humiliating you, embarrassing you, inflicting pain upon you. You get sexually gratified. It's pleasing to you. It's twisted. Mm. Moving right along. Right. That's yeah. Okay. So you do take that input. And yeah, of course. I'd be a fool not to. It's some dope. Listen, some of the dopest people in the world. I've met some women that's just absolutely out of this world with their ability to be able to decipher through some kind of some subjects and add value and for her to be able to navigate through certain things is some some keys that only women can unlock. You are a fool. See, the problem with guys, conversely, is that guys don't understand that women can you be your, they can be your biggest asset bigger than any real estate deal, bigger than any business deal, anything. A woman that fully embraces who you are and submits herself to you and believe in your leadership and absolutely will embrace everything that you says can be the most powerful tool in your toolbox. Most guys just don't know how to unlock her. And that's the real conversation that men should be having, not whether or not a woman is for the streets or not, but whether or not they know how to unlock the woman in order to unleash her potential. Men don't, they don't want to have that type of conversation. Oh, they too busy having a conversation in a vacuum instead of under, trying to understand how it is that a woman can work on your behalf. The most powerful tool that you have in your toolbox if you know what to do. Ooh, wee. Mm, 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 mm. Did anybody catch it besides me? Am I the only one? A woman can be your biggest asset. 
I concur wholeheartedly, 100%. I second that. That's the truth. I ain't nothing but the truth, so help me God. What you think a woman here for, guys? Just for your sexual pleasure? Well, she there for that too. But a woman is a very powerful being. Now. Let's be clear. I know a lot of guys want to minimize women and stuff like that. Not know what Jezebel is. Like I'm trying to say, you have to understand how to unlock a woman. You can't unlock all women because they ain't coachable. You have to learn to be coachable, ladies. You have to make sure you get with the right man. You can't be with these Pookies and Ray Ray. If you choose a Pookie and Ray Ray, don't come back complaining. Don't come back in your 30s talking about you ready for a good man. Nah, get back. Back up. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I was like, this is the Papa Keller Hold on, hold on, hold on, Rella. Hold on, hold on, Rella. Go ahead, Kayla. I'm done now. Yeah, my bad, Kayla. I apologize. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I promise you, I was not trying to cut in like that on you. But I really did. I, I, while you was in that conscious stream of thought, I wanted you to give us an example because what you were painting sounded almost like uh, a similar parallel to the color purple argument, right? And what I mean by that is you were like, you know, this is what a good husband is. And then you were saying, like, a good husband would do da 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 da. And then, but it's, you know, you have these men who are just dead set, it's my way or no way. Whereas most men, most modern men, like, it's very few traditional men, right? Very few, by and large. There's more modern men than there are traditional men, right? And yeah, because so, financially, that's. Well, right, but, well, but those men, those modern men say happy wife, happy life. So who are the men by and large? Because if those traditional men who would typically subscribe to, um, wait, you're saying modern men, because I, I, I just want to, I don't want to confuse your face. Especially. Are you saying modern men don't primarily subscribe to happy wife, happy life? Um, no, I see that. I see that more with um, traditional men, like, Growing up, definitely the traditional men with the housewives. Like I've I always heard that rhetoric, like happy wife, happy life. You know, if this makes my wife happy, like cool. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to hear nothing about it. Cool. Like I, don't know. I think the brothers I don't would know. say something different. I think the brothers would say those weren't necessarily traditional men. I mean, I, I know these categories. Their wives were housewives. Yeah, but I hate these. I hate these labels. Like I hate the alphas and the betas. And I think more men would say those were beta men, and that comes from. Um, but they were know. traditional. We're not talking about alpha and beta. We're talking about traditional men. They were traditional men. Their wives stayed at home, and they were the type that were happy wife, happy life. If my wife is happy. I know I'll be happy because won't be no complaining, won't be no 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 mouthing off, won't be any of that because oh, I see, I see because she's happy, so, and so if she's happy, she's gonna do whatever she can like to make me statement. happy because. If we're covering each other's bases, then everybody's happy. No, I see where she's going with it. Cool. So even with all I said, my, my question is, is where do you see these men who are dead set in their marriages on everything has to be my way? I see them all the time. I see them on social media. I see them on Clubhouse. Really? I definitely see them in space. Are they paying, Are these the men that are paying the cost to be the boss? These the men that pay the bills 100%? Majority of them seemed like there was only a few that whose wives were working, but they said that she was only working because she wanted to, but he didn't require her to do that. She had like a home business or whatever. But majority of them, yeah. That there is definitely not the bee's knees. Happy wife, happy life. Mm -mm. It don't work like that. I promise you it don't. My wife know better than that because you could have a wife that could be walking backwards. And if you ain't walking backwards, she ain't happy. Nah, it don't work like that. Mm -mm. Uh, it don't have nothing to do with nobody being happy It's for the betterment of the group The family unit What she talking about is simps They have been simps ever since the beginning of the time y'all And that sounds like a very simpish behavior Just my opinion I could be wrong Whatever but majority of them yeah Let me ask you this way are these men that you know like flesh Like in the flesh you see them you know them Or are these men who, you know, similar to anybody else can get on social media and purport themselves to be whoever they want to be. These are men that I actually know. And actually, some of them, on, on their wives like, do work. Actually, and his Instagram. wife actually works full time, actually. And he's still like that. He don't even care. <laughs> okay. 
Come on, really, man. I know you ain't just let that slide and that just be the end of the conversation. <laughs> Wait, what is he gonna do? I was waiting for the point, really. I thought you was going to I thought you was about to lay the hammer down, yeah. bro. I thought you were about to come out. I, I, I don't know exactly where he was trying to because go. I asked, because I asked initially and she said, no, these were people on social media. And now she's saying media. these are people that you know in real life. I mean, I don't. I don't so want to make it a circular argument. I know in real life don't got I know how this is going to go. I don't want to make it a circular argument. I'd rather just move the conversation forward, honestly. So no, I'm cool with it. Right. I'll, 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 I'll take up the banner. Uh, I'll take yeah, it. I, I'd rather mm-hmm. I'll carry that so banner. I'll know, carry that flag. The people that I know in real life, do they not have social media? I'll carry that flag, Rilla. So you telling me uh, that you telling me that a good man is looking to please his wife, that's a part of the equation? As far as him making decisions on behalf of the family every day, I'm t- I, like I said, I wasn't talking about like life changing, talking about finances, anything. I'm talking about regular everyday things like what are we having for dinner? I don't know what is what are we what kind of curtains are we going to do in the living room? I'm talking about regular things like what kind of outfit is Timmy going to wear for first day of school? I, I'm talking about regular, like, because these are the things that go on every day. Those big things are just those big things that happen those one times, like us uh, us making the budget, blah, blah, blah. But but the issues that couples have are, are for the little things that happen daily, the mm. little daily decisions. Those are the things. Those hey, are why are you shaking your head? Yes, like that's right. That you know, I agree with her. Like, I'm going to pay this, you pay that. They establish that. Those things are established. Hey, you know, hold on. Okay. have an issue you, unless somebody changes something. Before I, before I, I overcook this. What do, you, what do you need to Kay. say? Just say what you need to say. I was Overcooked. talking to Kay. I'm sorry. Give me one second. Kay, you know better. You're too smart. To continue to con- do like this every single time. I'm nodding. And you know I'm better, Kay. You know better. Listen, I Listen, know you too. Are you smart chastising for this. her for having an opinion? I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm not talking to you. Kay is a grown woman. She can, she can speak for herself. See, Kay, Anton, you've been learning from me more and more. Me and Kay, hold on, hold on, Kayla. Me and Kay been having this conversation for about a good six months. Let us go ahead and do this real quick. Give me a second. Hmm. Have anybody noticed anything in particular about Kayla? I mean, she's a beautiful sister. I love her skin tone, by the way. Nice skin tone. That has nothing to do with her continence, her vibe. It, it seemed like she she on something else. And I'd heard her used to turn toxic and kids on your property and all this old crazy stuff. Mm, that sounds like some kind of feminist talking points to me. Guys, if you get involved, who else to blame besides yourself? I'm just asking you a question. Who else you going to blame? Because you can't hide this here. Front and center. There's no denying it. Moving right along. Me and Kay been having this conversation for about a good six months. Let us go ahead and do this real quick. Give me a second, babe. Now, Kay, you know better. You know better. What she Why do you keep what, playing this game? What she said was correct. She's saying what? that outside of major decisions, she's not talking about like, are we going to move across the country or not? She's not talking about that. She's talking about the day-to-day things that happen on a regular basis, not just like huge decision making or even okay, but if, anybody makes, if you really want to make sense about it, it's the big decisions that the guy then starts to consult with the woman on. We don't meddle in that little foolishness. What are we talking about? If I'm moving across the country, that's the conversation that I am choosing to have with her. It's like y'all backwards. It's of like course, everything that, no, 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 okay. I have never seen you not one time. Kay, I have never seen you one time since Kayla has been on this show. You disagree with her. Not one time have I seen you disagree disagree on our show all the time. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm talking to Kay. We, well. We disagree on our show all the time. Yes, correct. Most guys consult their wife about major decisions. But ultimately, the decision is left up to him at the end of the day. You understand? Now. Did you see the sleight of hand trick? Notice, Anton said, Kay, I haven't heard you disagree on this show. Not one time. And Kayla gonna blurt out, we disagree on our show all the time. And Anton say, no, let me talk to her. And Kayla gonna blurt out again, we disagree on our show. He didn't say that. Guys, you see that sleight of hand trick? See, that's how women operate. That's how they cross you up and twist you up. If you're not careful with small, intricate details such as that. He said this show. You see that? Split tongue. Show all the time. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm talking to Kay. 
we well we disagree well. on our show all the time we do disagree in fact we have like polar opposite opinions about literally <laughs> like but right now right here on this topic um that would be like somebody anton come on don't do that no 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 come that on come like on somebody, let's have it that would be like somebody saying like hey i can't believe you agree with anton me and you actually and i've been saying this since the beginning me and you actually agree We're on not a talking lot. about you and i okay but i'm just saying people are like that like people can agree on stuff i don't or disagree like essentially depends. what she said let me let me break it down and then you you can help okay, me to yeah, understand break it down. if i'm off if i'm off essentially what she said is that we need to have a partnership i need to be consulted and good men consult women whenever it is that they need to make a decision especially on the menial every single every single day things am i off yeah, you're off. That's not what I said. You're definitely. Okay, I, I said, correct me if I'm off. Help me to understand I, what I you said. Mean. I said about the good lack men. of. Okay, so I don't even think that most men care as much as you're trying to make it seem. Like the little things women end up doing anyway. But there are when I'm talking about control and decision making, there are men that feel like they need to be making all the decisions. Like. And what I'm saying is that in healthy relationships, is that a good man? It's just, it's just we're both making decisions. I think I'll agree. We're both making decisions. Like, are you going to be mad about how I dress any versus is it going to be a whole fight between us because you wanted him to wear a blue shirt and I wanted him to wear a red shirt? No, like we don't have to do a whole soliloquy. I'm talking about a back and forth conversation. Because I'm the man, he's going to wear the color that I say. Like, bro, for real, it's not that serious. And you know what that means. You know what? I said, hold on, Kay. Hold on, Kay. Hold on, Kay. Hold on, Kay. No, wait, I got a question real quick. Kayla. Hold on, Rilla. Hold on, Rilla. Let me let me just get to the bottom of this really quickly. She, she said a good man literally consults with his wife. And that the difficulty in these relationships is that men feel like they need to always make the decision. Am I off? Oh, I get what you're saying, Anton. You're saying a good man wouldn't behave that way. Am is I that- off, Kayla? I just explained it. You're smart. You okay, so all know. right. Well, let let, let me do this. Let me say this. Thing. Is that what you're saying? Stop, hold on, Kay. Hold on, Kay, because she don't want to talk. So it's okay. Let me go. I ahead just said it. If you need it the third or fourth time, then you should. I don't. Go back I don't need it. But Thank like, you, man. You said you Thank said you, yourself you're a season. I don't need it. I don't. I don't need it. If you can't, then take it up with. I don't know. I know, Miss Journalism. I know. I, I, listen, I'm pretty sure. I I looked up them journalism courses. They not that hard. Please don't okay, make yourself okay, to be cool much man. more than you already are. Then you should so be let's able get, to let's get down to the more than a C. Let, C rich. You better do your research. Anyways, like I was saying, the point that I was making is that. What? What does um, that have to do? The man was trying to get some clarity. Kayla, attitude. You need a third or fourth time. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine being connected to this? Because guess what? Let me drop the jewel on you. Now, they don't have no connection emotionally. No kind of ties, right? Could you imagine being emotionally connected with this woman? Because you understand anything about a woman, you will know this. The more a woman is invested in you, the more unstable that she become. Because her emotions, a lot of women can't keep their emotions in check. So could you imagine getting into it with her? See, Rich, you better do your research. Anyways, like I was saying, the point that I was making is that. What, what does um, that have to do? No. Hey, hey, I'm sorry, ma'am. Can you please be quiet so I can make my point? Anton. Give me a second, Kay. Give me a second, Kay. Give me a okay, second. Okay, then can I ask you after? You sure can. Okay, because Here's I the thing. Guys. Here's the thing. Modern men are modern in any era that they're currently in. When you see these old school dudes that's talking about happy wife, happy life, those are simps of their era. Just be just like there are simps of our era today. Back in the 80s and the 90s, there were simps back then. And even those dudes, when the kids got old enough and they got out of the house, a lot of those dudes wind up getting divorced because he's not the one. He, uh, she, he's not the man that she truly wanted. He's the man that she settled for in order to be able to make sure that they that she raised her kids. When you're talking about traditional, traditional is truly the people that are about 50, about a half a century ago. 
Those are the truly traditional relationships where men really were men and women were women. We're not talking about the 80s. We're not talking about the 90s. We're not talking about the 2000s, the 2010s. Those are the same type of dudes that raise the dudes that you're seeing today, simping for these women and making sure that they come first when it comes to them making decisions in their household. The reality is that the men that are successfully married and the women that are submitting to the authority of their husbands are the ones that's having the fruitful relationships. And ultimately, when you see a woman that's wrangling with a man on a regular basis, especially about these little stupid nuances, often at times, she's just a contentious woman. She's not a woman that's living in her femininity and she's always going to be in a space where she's never truly resting. And that's why she always got that ang These are the women that created the whole angry black woman narrative, honestly. That's the, that's how that whole thing came about, is that these women are overly contentious with men that are trying to build. And when men make decisions, they're not making decisions based off of women. They making decisions based off of the entire unit, how everything is going to be affected. And so he may consult her, but she's not the main consideration as to whether or not they need to make that decision. So when you see a man that say happy wife, happy life, what you're seeing is a sucker that don't know how to lead his household. No man should ever be talking about happy wife, happy life. That ain't the consideration. The consideration is whether or not we gonna do this thing, sh make these short-term decisions that's gonna affect us long-term because I understand what you gonna have to deal with if you don't make the right decision right now. That's what a real man is about. And that's why y'all don't know how to find a good man. I'm not talking about y'all on a panel. I'm talking about women in general. They don't know how to find a good man because they are so busy looking for a partnership instead of looking for a leader. It's a difference. It ain't no partnership. It's a benevolent dictatorship. Emphasis on benevolent, though. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery. Mic drop. Do I need to reiterate anything? What did you understand about anything that he just said? He covered the topic about the simps of that time. He covered the topic about the traditional women, the traditional men, back in time and memorial. He covered the topic about women aren't looking for leaders. They're looking for a partnership. Mm -hmm. I could pick it back off of it, but there's no need to. He said it already. He cooking. What else you want to know? Does anybody disagree with anything that he just said? If it is, leave it in the comment section. Please put it down below. Okay, you got a question? Yeah. So were you saying... <laughs> Yeah, that. go ahead and cut your camera off. We know don't you discussed like, it. Anton, we stop. know you discussed it, Anton, but it don't stop. make it any less true. Anton, stop. You don't do tell me to stop thing. after you be cooking these callers no, that be I calling up here, okay? Anton is so full of himself. Yeah, he come on. Everything is about him. My computer was actually dying, and I was going to get my charger. Oh, but it came back out. online real quick. Okay, her, her, her computer was dying, you. but it came back alive just a second ago. Oh, okay. Right. And the thing is that look at you, that look at her look at her right there, bro. Anton, you um, you definitely leave the chat when we've had the, we've you know we go way back. You leave and you get up and walk away. So even if which is not because she was getting her charger, but even if that's what she was doing, you do that too. Doing. You do that too. So don't I'll don't do be too hard on it. You, you turn up, you turn up your camera. Okay, is that your question? Was that your question, you No, but I'm just saying, you interrupted my question to address her camera. So now we're talking about that. But yeah, right, like, because he can't just talk about the topics. He has to say something about me personally every single show. What did I say? Know. What did I say about you really? personally? I'm flattered. So, so what did I say? Hold on, hold on, Kay. What did I say about you personally? No, right, because I want to apologize if I said something about you personally. I'm willing to take accountability for what I said. Honestly, what did I say? What did I say about you personally? What did I say? I'm honestly, I'm being real. What did I say about you personally? You me just now personally. You felt the need to announce to the audience that you, what, why you believe I turned off my camera at the time that I did. Right? Oh Not my God. That ain't speaking on you personally. Because your camera got turned? Are you that sensitive? Wait, wait, wait. Are you that sensitive? That. I'm really, not. Because, I did. You, because you was on your high horse, you was feeling yourself at that moment. So I spoke about you personally you because I said you kept your camera like, off? Yep. Yeah. 
See, that's why you turned your camera off because you mad when nobody was thinking about you. Nobody was thinking about you. Nobody was thinking about you. I think fam, good enough. Ma'am, ma'am, fam, ma'am, whatever, you, whichever we one. Can move on. Go ahead, Jr. Okay, so wait, 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 stop, Kay. Let me respond real quick, and then you can say whatever you want. It's all your fault, Anton. It is my fault, and I'm cool with it. I do not apologize because I did not speak on her personally, and just because I said she cut off her camera don't mean that I attacked her personally. I ain't say nothing about her other than the fact that she cut her camera off. That's yeah, just that's overly still, sensitive. <laughs> Well, that's, that's I being overly sensitive. Other than Anton, come on. I don't. I don't apologize. I, 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 I would have apologized if she brought up something that I said. That would she's just crazy. overly sensitive. <laughs> she's overly sensitive, bro. She no, can't help it. She no. can't help it. Every single show. Every single show, she get bothered because we not just going along with the narrative. See, she was comfortable because Rilla was going to let her. Rilla was going to let her off the hook. Let's be clear here, guys. I cut the camera off too because she got retisterous. She had an apple in her mouth. She spin around. I'm telling you. And did you see the attitude? Mm. And K, come for the rescue. K to the rescue. She was trying to help her. But certain things that you just have to concede and just say, you know what? You're right. But instead of saying you're right, they want to fight. They want to defend. That's why a lot of people is against this type of behavior. Because there's no reconciliation with this. You can't deal with this here. The only guy that can deal with something like this is a simp or some type of guy that is spineless. What old people used to refer to as a jelly bag. Moving right along. Rilla was going to let her off the hook. Rilla was going to let her off the hook. Rilla was going to let her off the hook. But Anton Daniels from AntonDaniels.com said, nah. We yeah, not we not letting not one thing I slide across the screen without making sure that we bring it on back and address it accordingly. But why did you have to address her going off camera? I just said, yeah, cut your camera off. For what? Because I because you cut your camera off. For what? Come on, Anton. No, you're being so disingenuous right now. You fake as hell. You look like you you look like you was bothered because you ain't have no comeback for what right I was now. saying. You're trying I'm to fake. act like you wasn't just trying to take a personal shot when I went off camera when you was. And instead of actually saying that, you want to say, oh, I wasn't speaking about her personally. Mm -hmm. I wasn't, bro. Are you, you bothered? the need to comment and try to make a dig off you the fact that I went off camera because I don't agree with what so you, you don't think? Wait, 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 wait. So you don't think it was a bit convenient that your computer just so I, happened to be dying at the part wow, where I just got done see, cooking again, your, cooking your point? It's about you so much that you can't fathom. Like, you really think it's about you that much? Wait, wait, wait. You don't think that... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You don't, you don't, you don't think that this is about me? Island wanted to be a girl. Mm -mm. I just want to say hi, Rilla. It's Rilla. always about me. See? Is all the way up. Oh, it's always about me. Okay, okay. Okay, are you really? Okay. Yeah, are you saying? Okay. Really? Are you saying that it's not about me? What? It's not about you're not saying, you. Been doing this. You're not saying that I'm the king. Anton, Anton, Ugh. we have been doing this. In fact, Kayla, I've been in Kayla's exact. In I've fact, never, I've been in that same position all the time. I am well versed in the Anton antics. Yeah. The Anton antics, but I, I had What's to call it out today because it was. You didn't call nothing out. Can't wait till, I can't wait till we go live. Have a last. It wasn't sliding tonight. That's gonna be wild. <laughs> I ask you Thank you. Her, her computer just so happened to go out at the time that I got done cooking. Who knows? Why does it matter? Why does it matter? Who she got done cooking, bro? Antics. It's not done. Put it back on. I don't like Let me come on, Jr. Let me ask the question because I need to hear the man. All right, Jr. You gotta let Kay ask her question. She has been looking to ask her question for a while. And Tom just trolling and I. He just trolling her. He just trying to take digs at her, just get up on her skin. But as far as attacking her personally, no, he didn't attack her. Cause I would say, yeah, he did attack her now. But just because I say something about you cutting your camera, that's not attacking nobody personally. That is a textbook example of deflection, guys. That's all that is. She didn't have a comeback. She couldn't defend her talking points. So she had to resort to doing deflection tactics. That's all it was. Moving right along. Are you saying 
Are you saying that a good man? I, oh, I know, I know what it is. We should call him. We should call me Kayla's king. What? Ah, Kay, she Kayla's, she Kayla's, <laughs> Kayla's king. I'll take that one. He said Kayla's king. As a K- married man, I don't get what you're Kayla's doing. king. Kayla's king. What do you Kayla's I'll take that one. This is your it's weird. weird, and I don't know what it is, but it's it changed me. It's why y'all? Why y'all can't Anton take a joke? Anton just do, does, does, not funny. Anton just does things. It wasn't funny. I'm sorry. I I, I like to laugh too. I so like Kayla's was, king. I would have laughed. Kay, the Kayla's not. show. <laughs> Please let me answer. Ask him. This All is, right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kay. Go ahead. Ask Anton, your you question. You can't help yourself, Anton Antics. He can't. So if you, it's in his blood. No, it's just that y'all not used to being in the presence of a guy that's willing to, oh my to goodness, call y'all out on y'all BS. For multiple See, months. all the rest of these guys, they will sit there and go, but they'll sit there and let y'all talk to the many old kind of way. We don't play that. I'm- Booyah. Did y'all see what she tried to do? This is classic, guys. The guy just playing with us saying Kayla King. Oh, you know, as a married man, that's strange. That's weird. Now, y'all, I know y'all haven't kind of women like this before. These are the women that you watch out for. Like a black Karen. Mm-hmm. And I do agree with him. Most guys are not going to say nothing. Because they looking at her skin tone or they looking at her body. And most guys trying to just stumble upon sex anyway. So they don't say nothing. They simps. Most guys are simps. Let's be clear. 15 or 20% of the guys are having sex with. 89% of the women. So the others, hmm, I'm not saying anything. But guys, hit that like button. I appreciate you. Hit the share button. Let's spread this message. Hit that cash app. It won't hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button, guys. I appreciate every last one of you. Last but not least, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Come back now you're here. Peace.